What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with uh, Horizon Zero. D d d d d d What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Gaming Channel. My name is AJ Gales. How y'all doing? We are back with Horizon Forbidden West. It is so hard for me to get the name of this game correct because I keep trying to call it Horizon Zero Forbidden West. And basically what I'm saying is I'm an idiot. So, yeah. Let's talk to uh, Belna and get the story moving. What Nora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Owen blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Owen holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Chain scraping it back to work now. I'll go give Olvent the good news. Oh, no, cool. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. I guess we were closer to the embassy than I thought. Eh, we're over here. Let's go check out this new settlement. Okay, so I'm going to guess there are differences between cities and settlements. It just kind of a... Because I know there's three major cities uh, for the three different... Um, oh my god, the new tribe. Uh, something with a T. I can't remember their name. Um... It, because I saw in an achievement, or I saw something that basically said there are three base, like main cities. But I guess there's also going to be smaller communities and villages and towns. Which was kind of something missing out of the first game. Um, I mean, given the way the world is and the machines reworking everything. I can understand all, you know there being all these biomes so close to each other. You know, tundra and... Maybe not tundra, but you get what I'm saying. The You know, the frozen mountaintops and the deserts and the jungles and the forests because it a gives us that cool gameplay feature of you know we get to see all these different biomes and the machines in them but we also um oh shit okay 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 i see where i'm going uh but it also uh, adds some just uh, some different environments and um, uh, b b b b I I'm trying to think strategic elements. I guess is kind of what I'm trying to get at. So I have a stash up here. I'm gonna guess this settlement is not very. Uh, I don't want to say important, but not really. Um, let's go check out these hunting grounds. No, no, I'm getting distracted. Come on, brain. Nope, we'll... We'll talk to Olvind, and then we will goof around. But yeah, sorry, as I, as I was saying, uh, the first game, I, I can buy from not only a gameplay perspective why they'd want all these biomes around each other, you know, it creates a different visual style, keeps the world from being too... Um, 
you know, too bland it, it, for always being in the same area. It gives you different, uh, you know, stealth options, I guess. You know, in the jungles, you kind of dealt with trees. Uh, well, I mean, you also dealt with trees in the forests, but there were different, you know, there was different how they were condensed. You know, the more mountainous areas, you know, having to deal with snow. Um, you know, dealing with all the crags and everything in the, in the desert area. I mean, that was cool. And this game, I believe, is going to be very similar. There's going to be grasslands and tundra and this and that and even underwater now. Um, and again, I, I still buy that stuff. But the world didn't feel lived in. Like, there weren't that many tribes and villages and little areas that you actually went and interacted with the people. But already, this game feels like there's more, more to it. Time to get Elvin to blow the whistle, then Wadis to Baronite. Trying to think. Oh, last time I was here, I noticed something. I think it was over here. Here. I think it was that Conan looking mine guy. There he is. Olin can't just ignore us like this, can he? We all I see you all made it back. Hammer and tongs. That they did, Huntress. They tell me you blasted through the problem. Lokuf here came back trembling like a twig. Hey! What's important is everyone made it out. No thanks to Olvin. Have you talked to him yet? We're on the waiting list. Doesn't have the guts to face all of us at once. We need to stick together, in case he decides to send his goons over. You're all banged up as it is. I can deal with Ulva. You don't need to stick around. We know, yelled Hammer. <laughs> Just stay safe. Well, yeah, as I was saying, it just this world to me feels like it's so much more full of life with seeing already just these two little settlements, uh, the characters moving around in these little short cutscene-esque um, starts to missions, while the first game was very much just sit there and talk to each other, and it was just shot, reverse shot of the characters. This one, it's... It's a lot more cinematic. Again, it just... The characters feel alive, it, to use a buzzword. Still here, I see. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day. Or two. Or three, or four. You blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay... Either you do it now, or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The Bristlebacks are defeated! You. What? Sound the whistle. Chain scrape is open for business! Terrific. Pray. Yay. <laughs> I and love these responses. Has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah. That's where I like it. Yeah. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do. <laughs> All right. I'm purchasing equipment, restock. Uh, many types of merchants, stitchers, outfits, hunters, sell weapons, herbalists, potions, cooks, school, is school boosting food, skill boosting food. Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send Wadis off to Baron Light. As I now get lost in a fairly small area. Brought out only the good stuff for you, Red. Seeing as you've got that whistle blowing. Hey, I've been waiting to get my lucky hammer fixed for days. 
You haven't done anything useful like getting rid of any bristlebacks, though, have you? Take your time. I promise you won't be disappointed. All right. So we have a fire hunter bow, which... Yeah, bring, let's just use uh, fire arrows, a warrior bow. Is that a like crossbow? Looks like a crossbow to me. And a sharp shot bow. Oh, one of my favorites. I will buy an equip. And buy an equip. And buy an equip. Come back anytime. Now can I get this fixed? I can fix your tools. Pray there's no fixing you. Okay, so there's ship shot bows, highly accurate. Accurate. I cannot speak. They have reduced accuracy when firing while moving, cannot be aimed while sliding. Shoot elemental arrows to detonate canisters of the same elemental type. Okay. Yeah, warrior bows are quick firing short range bows. Unlike other bow types, they deal maximum damage even when not fully drawn, but quickly lose accuracy at longer distances and shoot blah blah blah. So the warrior bow. Okay. Before I keep getting distracted, let us check out the upgrades for these, see if we can get any new arrow types. So we have weapon stats, weapon stats again, and yeah, this one's kind of boring. There we go. And either way, the first upgrade on all of these is just increased weapon stats. So, little boring, but will still be useful. Still stick with my my normal hunter bow for now. So that's the first new one. Let's check out the Stitcher. Outfits. And, yeah, my strike pieces, resources. And as far as I know, all this stuff is just valuables. There we go. I can also buy the Azarum Explorer outfit. Uh, skills, critical strike plus one, power attack plus one. It's good for against poison and just normal melee damage. And you have the Nora Huntress. Uh, Silent Strike Heal gets a plus one. Low Profile gets a plus one. Of a notable former outcast. That's cute. And... I get boosted arrow and frost defense. Okay. Right now, I'll buy them. I'm probably not going to equip them because, as far as I can tell, my Nora Anointed, yeah, gives me five against both melee and arrows, and I get a bigger shock, and well, I get shock and corrosive defense with this or poison acid whatever the hell it is and this one gives me frost so I'll play around with elements and whatnot when I'm hunting down the road yes I'm checking all the shops I all love this stuff I there, love all this goofy shit a sprinkle of chili to their desserts help reverse I love you 
Um, anything new? I don't think so, but he had that cute little bit of dialogue. Oh, that's nice. He actually, they change the, the dialogue depending on your, the actions you've completed. So maybe we'll see stuff like that with like side quests. We complete a side quest and then uh, some other character will reference that we beat that side quest. I doubt it, but it's an interesting thought. So we also have cleanse, uh, cleanse poison, which I, not enough room in my potion. Oh, I can only carry three potions and I have three health potions. Okay. I get how that works. So it's the elemental defense. Not really something I used much in the first game. Okay. So I'm probably not going to use that merchant much. Cause like I said, beyond health potions, I really didn't use potions in the first game. Maybe they have more use with the more varied machines and whatnot. But for now, I'm gonna leave that alone. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when says. I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay. Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. But, but I, I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightwadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. You know, I was kind of hoping for a crappy escort mission where we let him die. Well, now that that's done, the embassy can finally get underway. If I can get through it, I'll be able to track down Silence. Hades. Maybe even a guy in backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Want to poke around the dance scene first. And more skills. Yeah, start putting a little bit into Trapper. Higher quality resources from disabling mines. That's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that skill so I can get um, high volley. Uh, skills is quality. New attack for all weapons in their class. Use a up weapon stamina, which regenerates over time. Okay. We'll see how that is down the road. Until then, let's pick up these side quests. Even the savior of Meridian needs a challenge. Aloy, play some back for more, huh? Another round here? Heard you've been busy. As for me, I'm gonna need a few more of these before I get back to the forge. Is there something on your mind? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. How I saw. They won't let anyone up the old trailhead southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talon. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. 
maybe you could swing by. Convince him to set up camp somewhere else? What else can you tell me about the Shadow Carja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Carja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a stormbird heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law breaking. Who is this Tolland clean broker? Just some chuff huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals and a campfire, those two. So Tolland works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Alvin might think so. But Tolland scrapes up his own scams. And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird salvage. Well, if I'm up that way. I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. You know, I... Has a shop here in Chainscrape. No one wants I to play strike. With him first. No? Anyway. I, uh, I really like... the... fact that... this game and the, and the previous one... Use a trading and like a bartering system for how you purchase new weapons. You know, it's not just a currency, you need shards. You generally need shards plus some sort of resource that you get from hunting machines. I really like that. I just wish the game didn't also use shards as its main source of currency. It's like the dollar, essentially. Like, there you see, I have 58 shards. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I wish it wouldn't have a central currency, that it was more focused on lootable items, which, granted, um, that's what... Oh, come on, Brain. That is what shards are. They are lootable items. But you, you, you get what I'm saying, though. I, I, I would like to see it be more of a... more of a pure bartering system, as opposed to there be a currency plus a little bartering. Though, having said that, I like that shards are also used to craft arrows and your ammunition. So, it isn't just a currency, it's also a resource. Uh, Metro did something very similar with the uh, the premium ammo. You know, it's really... It, it, they're stronger bullets, but you also need them to um, trade and buy items in the game. I, I, I like that idea. Sorry, I'll be right with you. So, basically, I'm saying I can give it a pass. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon. Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off. Oh, just, just, just stop talking. Where are we? Ah. <clears throat> so, uh, you, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <sighs> but you're just nuts. I am with a customer. I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder. It'll blow a strider sky high. Ba-boom. One shot kill. Guarantee. Uh, maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red. How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking, yet perfectly safe, javelin thrower? Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. <laughs> so she's your partner? My apprentice. And my sister. She's why we're out here. There was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. 
Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. Had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it. And I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better. Namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not? I like that name. That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get him for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. So, chance for a new weapon here. Alright, so what am I missing? Uh, charger horns and a fanghorn rim. Okay, so I need both. Uh, hold on a second. I'm just going to cut this out and grab those and be done with it. Sorry about the running around in circles. I had to turn off my... Had to had to turn off the podcast I was listening to. You know, as I was Machines weak against frost. Ew, wait a minute. I, sorry, I just I just realized something. The fang horns that I were that I was taking out earlier on in the game, I was wondering why it only said one variant in Fanghorn in the um the notebook. That's because there's this is a fire fang horn, and then there are just fang horns. I understand now. I'm dumb. Oh, I love doing that. All right, arrows are off. Bullshit. What? I'm just using whatever that... <laughs> I'm just trying to use more weapons. These arrows, not super great so far against machines. And I'm talking those, uh, what is it? The warrior bow. I don't know. Maybe it gets better as we go. Ow. go now to see about that weapon of theirs and now something that I actually wanted to talk about before I got distracted with that fight or something I was thinking while uh, I was off camera I 
I like the change that you actually have to shoot off things like charger horns or bristleback horns or whatever. You, you know, you have to actually shoot the items off the target to get them. You can't just um, kill the machine. You actually have to think of, like, if you're hunting for a very specific part, you actually have to think of, okay, I need the right equipment to target this specific part to shoot it off. Which is something you really didn't have to do in the first game. I mean, you know, it really, in the first game, all I ever focused on was um, shooting the uh, the containers in the back to get the uh, the explode the blaze explosion or the um, uh, the shock whatever uh, from hitting a reactor or whatever the hell they're called on the backs of uh, certain enemies. Okay. So uh, it's just it's a nice change. It actually it makes you think and actually I don't want to say focus more against machines, but it really makes you not just shoot any we bit my tongue. Not just shoot any weak point, but you actually have to pick your moments and pick your targets. So on and so forth. There's a question mark in this little area here. Ah, okay. I need a different tool to be able to get through it. Hurts my feelings a little bit, but okay. You know, I'm really curious on how human combat is going to change. If I don't know, I, I'm, I'm just ho I'm hoping the the AI for the humans is a little smarter. It didn't hate it in the first game, but I mean, I'm already liking all the other changes that they've made to the combat. I mean, very minor tweaks, but it, it's doing exactly what I want out of it. So I'm, I'm interested to see where it's going to go. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding. I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking look. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. <laughs> Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh, Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba boom That's what you wanna hear, you wanna hear. Oh, it's maybe safe? All right, spike throwers launch powerful projectiles due to their long buildup, slow rate of fire. Uh, spikes can be thrown in full draw in order to penetrate armor. Okay. So, seeing that this is an explosive weapon, I'm going to swap it with the warrior bow right now. So, I mean, the warrior bow is cool. But just my regular hunter bow does more damage. The sharp shot bow does more damage. Yeah, I, I've got plenty of arrows just for damage dealing. I mean, even if it, you have to worry about the up-close kind of fights. But um, I, I might play with it more against human enemies or something. But so far against machines, it really doesn't look like it does much. Oh, this will really boil there, broth. I'll add a sprinkle of ch Okay, we already heard that. I saw the little exclamation point, so I thought there was something with him. I don't know why I ran in here, because I need to speak to Toland. Toland? Toland? Uh, it's you. The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? 
Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Come on, you well, he's pleasant. And I want a faster way out of the city or settlement, whatever the hell you want to call it. I guess up here works. I think I'm going to order lunch after I complete this mission. And I'm very excited about that. I'm really hungry. Oh, I'm not sure how if I'm really going to use those smoke bombs. I, a lot of games give them to you, and I try and use them, because I like to try a little bit of everything. But, I, I don't think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use them much. Alright, well, I don't think I can just climb this little mountain here. Yeah, I really can't climb this little mountain here. I thought it would go... Oh, it does go boom. Awesome. Okay, it's a delayed boom. I'll grab this now. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Okay, so let's take the craft. Uh, okay. I was basically just making sure it wasn't um, like an item we haven't already found. But seeing that I've collected uh, those items before, it looks like we'll be fine. Still. Oh. Is it bad, Lokasha? Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? 
Bruised, but not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. See, as soon as she mentioned the Stormbird, I kind of, I was thinking, oh god, did it fall on him? You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. See, I kind of like this delve into the the Shadow Karja. We didn't see a lot of that in game one. I mean, we saw a lot of the Shadow Karja, but not necessarily from this... More introspective light. An awesome More of just a kill him light. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. God, yes. there must be shit everywhere. That's right. I just made a poo joke. 
The trail up to the tower is falling apart. And I stand by it. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Who bets we get halfway up there and find his dead body? Get this from my stash when I need it. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, apparently I can't grab onto that. I'm just dumb. I could have just done that. I you love it when you don't pick the easy choice. You have to make it difficult on yourself. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. Holy shit, I'm having trouble staying awake. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Okay. Okay. Now how to climb higher. Yeah, so you can jump, tap, circle against the wall to kind of give you a little extra boost. Holds. Just keep hugging the wall. It's gotta be something. Okay. Almost fell there. And brute force worked. Still have a couple unknowns. Don't know what's over there, but I kind of want to find out. Savahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> oh. Oh. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. All part of the ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. A 
Jackson. Makasha is doing the best she can down there, but... Machine attacks. Angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of even time will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? To a new home. The fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is a hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> how, how could you tell he punctured a lung? Do you have an x-ray or something? Hey, is he bleeding? I don't see it. Your people are worried about you. Like, he also doesn't look that pale, like blood loss is causing him any... Uh, he just looks like he's thirsty and hungry. Staring at your salvation this whole time. I gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. A storm bird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Oh, Aloy, just you know, still having your uh, your your parent issues. The whole oh, well, the the priestesses in my village were mean to me. Blah blah blah. I was ostracized. Blah blah blah. And hang out with Naruto. Though I uh, though I guess all that stuff made him. Like, super strong or whatever. I forget how that series... I, I, I keep falling off around the Great Ninja Warp. That's beside the point. Holy hell. Sorry, I just, I'm just yawning now. I got super tired in the last, like, ten minutes. I was gonna... That was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. It's gonna end up recording more tonight or today, but eh, probably not now. There. The order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? He's dead. Fantastic. You did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. I gotta figure out what that is. Because if not, the question mark's just gonna bug the shit out of me. Like a 
secret thing behind that. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to find that waterfall and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on. Okay, their now, hair color and that one dude with the bowl cut his haircut is bugging the shit out of me. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Okay, so you clipped the Stormbird. But it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Come on, boss. It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. But as modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. Okay, with that completed. Oh, Jesus Christ. I keep getting all these skill points. Sure, I'll take an arrow rain skill. Take that and quiet movement. Oh, I just noticed I got that ability activated. Uh, activate a cloaking device based on stalker technology to decrease visibility uh, to enemies aiming a weapon or using melee attacks temporarily deactivates the device. Okay, so I can't stand right in front of them or, you know, melee attack invisibly or stuff like that. Okay. That's cool. And last thing on the agenda. Okay, I unlock the weapon technique. Uh, techniques of powerful attacks. Step R1. Nifty. Valley surges. Blah, blah, blah. Opening that. Tapping R1. Oh, I don't have enough points or whatever to activate it. All right. Still want to know how to equip that like face paint stuff that we've been finding, but I'm sure we'll find out eventually. It's like below us. Oh, thank God. started that jump going oh dear god please be deep enough and sunken cavern Thank you. 
I got lost. I got lost and started to panic. <laughs> I was waiting for a load screen, then realized all I had to do was hit X. Uh, you know, I was, I'm recording this. It's my... Uh, my birthday today and uh yes i am fishing for uh hey happy birthday aj i'm just just saying but uh but seriously though i i um with it being my my birthday today i really wish i didn't have to work Cool, so holding R2 holds your throat or something? I'm not sure what I'm not finding in that area. Okay, or maybe it's just saying, hey, it's a sunken cavern. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll search around on off camera, see if I can find if there's anything interesting in there. Uh, either way, guys, I think we're going to call it quits here. Thank you so much for watching. Social media in the description, as always. Like, comment, not already. Please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned more next time. Until then, my name's AJ Gell. This is the Something Game Channel. I'm out.